I have a suspicion that he still lives around here. This looks epic! That's... He really... Did you see that? I just saw a cartoon dog running inside that building. Do you hear that? Cartoon dog is out there somewhere and he's very close. Shh. Shh. All right, come on. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Uh, what happened, Sadnik? Uh, our camp was attacked by cartoon dog. You guys, but before we head out in search of that cartoon dog, Maria Fyodorovna has something to tell all of you guys. The thing is, that cartoon dog used to be her actual dog. A long time ago, I lived in this place, ran my own household here, and he was a nice dog named Rex. I got him when he was a puppy. So cartoon dog used to be a stray dog that you, you decided to keep him? Yeah, well, who would have thought it would turn out like this? Man, is there really a cartoon dog living here? This woman said that it was near a farm that is located next to her village, you know what I mean? And cartoon dog is definitely around here somewhere. Why do we even want to see that cartoon dog? Bruno, you gotta learn to control cartoon cat somehow, or else he won't invite you into videos like this anymore. Cartoon, cartoon cat is not easy to put up with, you know? Uh, all right, come on, let's go now. <sighs> Uh, hello, everyone, dear friends. It is Ari Schniff with you today, and with me today are William Bruno and Cartoon Cat. Savic, one, two, three, four. We are here with the boys just to catch the cartoon dog himself. Let's try to look around this place here, and then we gotta move past, and we need to find any sign of cartoon dog. And then we're gonna make a camp real quick. We came here to this abandoned farm right here in the middle of the night. Hey, can you please be nicer to my friends, huh? I don't like being here at all. Come on, Cartoon Cat. Anyway, you guys, the only reason that we came here in the middle of the night is that because a certain subscriber got in touch with me and he told me a story about his grandmother was actually used to live in this area and she personally saw him and then she knows where Cartoon Dog actually came from. I have a suspicion that he still actually lives around here. Dude, it's really dangerous here. It's so easy to step in the wrong spot. Look, let's try to move to another barn. As far as I understand, it's an abandoned farm, and there's also a settlement somewhere nearby, and that old lady told us about it. This place was abandoned by its inhabitants a long time ago. Even here, look, nothing but brick walls. There are probably 10 farms like these standing in a row. I mean, there's really a lot of them. We got a night vision system on the drone in case that we will need it. So we are here with the <laughs> boys. Oh, Seth, 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 damn it! Let's try to set it straight. Don't do it! No, 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 no! Don't touch it! Don't Come touch on, it! Please, please, on, don't no. touch it! Don't touch! It. Damn! But what's the matter if you want? Well, Seth jumped badly, got his foot stuck, and then twisted it. You have a fracture uh, or just pulled it? I don't know, man, but it hurts like head. Look, you guys, it's getting darker, and even the sky has a weird, really color it now. So let's Come do on. this, and I'll escort Sophic uh, back to the uh, camp, and then you take a look around this whole area, okay? Tim goes and Bruno Sapping and I keep the lookout. <laughs> what are you afraid or something? Speak with that about me once again. And when Cartoon Dog attacks, you'll have to fight it yourself. Do you understand? All right, all right, fine. Guys, you go back to the camp and I'll go do a like site inspection. Come on, Artyom, take Sapping there and just, just be careful. Easy, easy. Sophic, I understand that your leg is hurting right now, but we need to get the drone up and running immediately to keep an eye on Bruno. Okay, okay. Come on, let's hurry. Come on. Come on, let's go. They built a chemical plant near our village. We were happy at first, but that was just the beginning. There's a river nearby, and the chemical plant wasted it. That's the reason no water is poisoned. So the plant didn't filter anything at all. It just dumped it all into the river near your village back there. Yeah, but that was okay for us. I mean, at least people kind of knew it. But what about the animals? They didn't know the river was poisoned. My Rex didn't know that either. He drank that water and he could barely breathe. I tried to get him some help. 
I personally thought that Cartoon Dog was created by the SCP Fund during its experiments, and now it turns out that he didn't come to life naturally, but through some sort of a mutation. You guys, we've already got the drone up and running, so now we're going to see what's out there on this farm. Hey, can you see me? Yeah, 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 we can see you. Okay, guys, just don't let me out of your sight. I hope the drone will have a clear picture. Well, at least it has night vision mode. All right, let's see what we got in here. You guys, this is a very big farm, and I still can't believe there's actually Cartoon Doc in here somewhere, you guys. I have no idea if that lady was telling us the truth, but at least Bruno has a chance because he has Cartoon's powers inside of him. He would just have a bunch of hangers right here, and I think that it must have been a very big settlement here, because just look, we have this first building right here, and see, and then we have the second building, and then the third, and they're all connected to each other, you guys. And there, look, there's even a building in the shape of the letter H right there. It's straight up an extremely large area here, and nearby there's even some small settlement. Oh, yeah, there's a road that goes straight to it. I mean, there must be people who live in this settlement. And there, look, three-story buildings. They probably don't even come around here. Apparently, that's exactly what Cartoon Dog's owner was trying to tell us. This is their settlement. It's probably not even a town, but an urban settlement. And apparently, that that is where she actually used to live. Look, the windows are all sealed up over there. You see that? It's necessary to defend against these monsters all the time. So, of course, it's all sealed shut, man. Sophie. We can see the boys flying around out there. I'm going to see what's around here for now. Guys, if I'm not mistaken, this is the SCP Foundation sign. That means we're at the right coordinates and paranormal things are really happening out here. Okay, we'll move on, but I really hope that this is an abandoned SCP Forces base because if they're still here, well, I'm not sure we can handle them. There's another building over here. It must have been their main control room, judging by these massive front doors over here. Well, just to look, there's something weird about it. Like, uh, what the hell is this? It looks like it was a person. You know what this is like. It's like someone was murdered here and then the corpse was marked. Hey, Bruno, come in. Are you there, man? Yeah, right here. Look, Sophic and I just spotted something very, very suspicious, and I think you'll be interested in checking it out for yourself. It's in the northwest. Can you please go up there, man? Well, the guys say that there's a body trail somewhere over there. Right, let's go check it out. Gotta see if that's true, or if it just looks like that from a drone. Well, I think it's gonna be much more clear from the ground. No way. No way, guys! It appears that one of the SCP fighters died here, and someone drew a chalk outline of his body to mark the crime scene, you know? Hey, just check the bushes over nearby and see if there's any weapons left there or anything else useful, man. Look for weapons, huh? Well, maybe there's something. <sighs> guys, there's someone's underpants! I'm not sure if it's left from those SCP fighters, but okay. That little hill over there, I think there's something there. Guys, there's another SCP sign. I'm gonna try to rip it out so I can show it to the boys up close. Yeah. Oh, damn it. Aw, oh, man. Okay, they're making really solid signs these days, but this place was definitely once home to SCP fighters. I want to tell you something else. We're actually gonna rob the SCP Foundation, but I'm not quite sure if that's safe. So here's a hint for you. If you prove to us that you really want to see this video and if this video will collect 50,000 comments, any kind, anything you want, everyone can even leave a hundred, even 200 comments. So in that particular case, if those 50,000 comments are collected, we will really break into the main base of SCP Fun and who knows what we'll find there. The Fun's been hiding a lot from us. I don't think they're gonna like it. Okay, I'm gonna keep exploring. Bruno, are, are you going inside of there? I'll check what's in there. That's right. Okay, just be really, really careful in there, all right? Well, what can I say, guys? I've had a full tour around this main block. There's a lot of rooms, but they all look alike. And the most interesting thing here is this attic. But I cannot see what's up there from here. And there's no way for me to get up there. So I'm just going to keep going. It's really dangerous to be out of the drone view zone right now because I want the guys to see me all the time. There's another SCP sign over here. Sounds like you found another sign. There, 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 there it is. Look right there. Right over there in the fields, guys. It's the SCP Fun sign. 
Bruno, we're gonna proceed with the building inspection. Now be careful out there. By the way, look, some weird concrete wall. You really only noticed that concrete wall right there, man? Just guys, look at this thing that we've got right here on the screen. Bray Bruno, can you move over a little to the right of it there? I think there's a rock painting of Cartoon Dog right there on the roof up there. No way. All right, I think I get it. I'll come over and take a closer look. Holy crap, guys, look at this. It's five times bigger than me. Here's me, and here's this cartoon dog. Just look at the size of William Bruno and that enormous cartoon dog's painting that there's on the concrete down there. He looks so scary, guys. Look at those fangs. They're terrifying. The look of a killer. Shh, shh. Ah, shh, shh. Hey, cartoon dog, come on. Cut it out, just an image. Yeah, yeah, it's Cartoon Dog. Cartoon Cat, stop it. Oh, man, I guess Cartoon Cat's really afraid of Cartoon Dog. I mean, he's dog after all. I'm not afraid of anything. Man, it's so hard to control him, but I'm managing somehow. Here's something else. Guys, there's something else written here. It says that you should not film me. Look, why don't we just not film anything here? We definitely need to show it to our subscribers, man. After all, they got 150,000 likes just for us. Okay, I guess I'd better get down then. Look, there's even some more writing over here. It's just some sort of writing nonsense. No, Sophie, it actually says something meaningful, I'm sure. I can smell you now. It was very good. And die now. SOS, where's my granny? You guys, this must be about the woman who raised the cartoon dog. I'm sure of it. You guys, I think I mean that dog of hers named Rex before he turned into the cartoon dog that we know of. Let's be just very careful here, all right? I mean, this is a very vast space, and if Cartoon Dog finds me here, I'll have a really hard time hiding from him. There's some loose wires all over the place. Maybe someone was tied to a ball here. I hope I'm wrong. I mean, that's... Do you realize what this is, don't you? It's actually car parts, and... Well, everybody knows what cars look like. They normally have a steering wheel on the left. And judging by the fact that the steering wheel here was placed right in the center, right here, this used to be a military vehicle. Because only military vehicles have the steering wheel in the center. Apparently, Cartoon Dog was scattering all the military equipment so much that even some parts from their tanks were flying around. You might also notice holes like these that can only be left by the machine gun which is only found in the military. Let's take a look at what's inside here. Come on now, someone clearly lives here, or at least they used to. This is really someone's camp, look guys. There's a sleeping bag, some military supplies. There's even some food left behind. Hey, film it. That's what the military had to eat. Well, I'm not sure if that was the military, but these places are usually inhabited by only the most desperate people. There's also sliced sausage looking like this and some classic cheese with sliced bread. We need to tell the boys about all this right away. Come on, why don't we just sit here? And when we go to the guys, we'll just tell them that we didn't find anything and head home afterwards. Look, you're acting kind of weird lately. Are you sure you're okay? It's nothing. I'm just too bored with all that wandering around with you guys. I'd rather just sleep at home. I'm a kitty after all. Okay, I hear you. Can you just stop distracting me, okay? There's some more research in this notebook. Let's see what a resident of this camp left behind after leaving. It's dated August 13th, year 2020. Oh, that happened a while ago. Sergey and I have been tracking this dog for two days. Is that cartoon dog they're talking about? Well, so far we found nothing but tracks, but we're sure the beast is around here somewhere. Last night we heard dogs barking. Maybe Cartoon Dog can communicate with other dogs. Guys, that's a very interesting assumption. It means that Cartoon Dog can cooperate with other dogs. We'll try entering the building tomorrow. Maybe he's hiding there. I wonder what building the resident of this camp wanted to sneak into. August 14th, the next day. Sergey, what I'm gonna tell your family? Oh god, Cartoon Dog is here. Why were we even looking for him? Sergey's dead now. The creature dragged him deep into the building. Looks like there was some real hardcore drama going on here. And it goes on. It's dark. Tomorrow at dawn, I'll try to get out of here. 
I cannot see anything at night, so I'll just wait it out in the camp. And that was the last entry in that notebook. It was written several years ago on August 14th. Looks like Cartoon Dog is a really dangerous creature. Two days later, I was walking behind the house. I wanted to look at the grave and there was... It was dug up and Rex was not there. About a week later, people started disappearing in our village almost every day. People got scared. Some left the village. Some stayed. Listen, Cartoon Cat, do you know anything about Cartoon Dog? Well, actually, this Cartoon Dog and I have a very long-standing feud. To be honest, Cartoon Dog is much stronger than me. And the thing is, I was created by scientists. And he appeared in this world after drinking that water poisoned with chemicals. It's best to stay away from him because he just attacks anyone he sees without thinking. Well, at least I think before I attack. I got it. Well, I really hope the guys are okay back then. Quite possibly. Well, you see, I've been smelling Cartoon Dog for a long time. The problem is, his odor is all over this place. I cannot tell where exactly he is now. What good are you then, Cartoon Cat? All right, let's go and take care of this ourselves. Now we're gonna find this Cartoon Dog. You guys, you see that house right there? I think people probably used to live there at one point. Look, I don't really know. All that I can see here is a really huge gate. Maybe some sort of a massive equipment or a dozer, I guess. And let's all just came to check on that red building because I'd really like to see what's inside of that red building right there. Hey, Bruno, do you see that building? on the northwest side, the red one. Can you go inside of there? Okay, I'll give it a try. Yeah, yeah, right, that's the building. Can you go check what's inside? Okay, I'm going in now. If anything, we haven't checked this building yet because our signal goes out as soon as we get anywhere near it. You guys, I'm actually very, really worried here. You know, because Sophic and I are sitting safely in this tent while Bruno's up there in the thick of things and it's crazy. I understand that he has Cartoon Cat in sight of him, but Cartoon Dog is just insanely strong. Probably the strongest of all of the SCP monsters. Well, he's definitely stronger than Cartoon Cat. Then, about a month later, deep at night, there was such a wild scream coming from the outside. Everyone jumped out of bed and ran to see what was going on. So I went out as well. I look out there and there's my Rex, standing on two legs, big, black, and scary, attacking people. I got scared and hid inside the house. For an hour or so, I was hearing those screams and... Then it all stopped. I hear someone coming to my house, the door opens, and then he turned around and got out of here. Are you sure that it was exactly your dog Rex and that wasn't just a coincidence that Rex disappeared and then this cartoon dog came? Well, he saw me. He didn't do anything bad to me, so that should have been mine. So basically that whole village now is abandoned then and nobody lives there at all and everybody just left because all the cartoon dogs showed up. Is that what you're saying right now? I think so, probably. I'm risking my life a little bit because I entered the building where they lost that Sergey guy. And according to these records, that building is home to Cartoon Dog. And by the way, it's a very long and dark hallway going on. I definitely wouldn't want to live here. At least the radio has a flashlight in it. I don't know what I'd do without this radio. All right, I think I need to take a closer look at this room. Yeah, I knew it. Look, it's obviously Cartoon Dog, again with this angry note. You cannot escape me. Cartoon Dog, maybe you're the one who won't get away from me. I'm the one who came here to find you, okay? Hey, Cartoon Cat, why did Cartoon Dog decide to live in this dump anyway? It's so much nicer living in the city. He's a dog, right? That's the main reason he lives in this wreck. There's actually quite a lot of animals here. He doesn't have to always eat people, you know. I mean, if he lived in the city, he'd have been caught by authorities a long time ago. And he realizes that, and that's why he's hiding out here in this countryside. So if he's really pleased to be here in the country, why did he attack that old lady's village? It's all about mutations. At that moment, he just started his transformation into Cartoon Dog. That's when the brain shuts down, so he acted on pure instinct. Listen, I'll, I'll give you another little thing. You don't have to fight him. You 
can just run away as far as possible from him. What is that, huh? Hey, are you not listening to me at all? I'm telling you, Cartoon Dog is much stronger than me. So you and I don't stand a chance against him. Well, I'm gonna look around some more. I'm sure there's still a lot of interesting things to be found. Look, Suffix, that's it. <laughs> You really, hey, did you see that? I just saw a cartoon dog running inside of that building. And that's where William Bruno is now. Bruno, the, the cartoon dog just entered the building. Bruno, don't worry. We'll figure something out for you. Roger that. Come on. Ah, damn it. I don't think anyone minds if Cartoon Cat takes control a little bit over William Bruno's body right now. Because the situation is getting really dangerous. Let's take a look around. And what do we have here? Ah, my felon instinct is leading me right here in this room. Oh. Oh, that's what I've been looking for. Look, guys, this briefcase is obviously very old. Yeah. Let's see what's inside of it. Uh, uh, there he is. There he is. What's that? Where? Did you see it? He's right there in the window. Bruno, we just saw that cartoon dog was peeking out of that window. Yeah, here are these documents. <laughs> Damn it. You hear that? There's a cartoon dog out there somewhere and he's very close. <laughs> All right, let's read what's in here. It's from the year 1984, May the 3rd. Specimen 231 remains in stable condition. They must be talking about Cartoon Dog. June 13th of the same year, disorders of cerebral activity increased appetite. Yeah, that means Cartoon Dog was slowly going crazy. What do we got next? <coughs> Damn it. It's Cartoon Dog, right next door. Increased level of aggression detected. Need more staff to the science center. Also required arm transport to transport the specimen. Threat level red advised. Tranquilizers required from the main science complex urgently. Possible outbreak. Looks like it wasn't just a farm. It was an undercover facility. That's why there are SCP Foundation signs scattered everywhere. This place was actually nothing like a regular farm. This was a base of SCP forces and some Research! Oh, damn it! Okay! Hey! Cartoon Dog! Did he just disappear? Or is he hiding and waiting for a chance to attack me from some unexpected angle? Where's this Cartoon Dog, huh? I guess I'll take these documents with me. Looks like the dangerous is over for now. Hey, Cartoon Cat! You can't just barge into my body just like that! Man, Cartoon Dog was in this building just okay, now! Bruno, help us! We're about to attack my Cartoon Dog! Just quick, something, and I really need your reach here! Come on, Bruno! Got it! I'm away! These are the footprints of that Cartoon Cat! Cartoon Cat is real! And you guys, as soon as this part gets 100,000 likes, the sequel will come out right away. Bruno! Bruno! You guys, Bruno's gone! Bruno! Bruno! That's Bruno's jacket. He was wearing this exact jacket. What happened here at all? You guys, I might be wrong, but I think that I suppose there was some kind of a struggle right here. Bruno wouldn't give it up without a fight, you know? There's broken glass everywhere, and 
Bruno's jacket is covered in some kind of a liquid. I've got him on the other one. And there's some kind of a mark, you guys. Just look at this, right? This is like clearly William Bruno's handprint because our palms are about the same. If we try to imagine what happened here, it's like that Bruno comes in here and gets attacked by Cartoon Cat because, well, as you saw in the previous episode, when the military and I were walking around to this place here, Cartoon Cat was always around and he even took down our drone that we were using. This is where William Bruno was fighting. Cartoon Cat must have thrown him of this away and Bruno was trying to hold on with his arms, but Cartoon Cat took him on this exact trajectory, dragged him into the woods and broke the windows here. You guys, it's pretty strong glass, so he was obviously dragging him with all of his might. I just can't figure out what this sign right here is. These three stripes. I just don't understand what this is. It's a base or another part of the forest. I'll just, I'll definitely take that jacket because Bruno might still need it here. I'm sure I can get him back and he'll still be walking around in this thing right here. What is going on out there? You guys! You guys! You guys! Oh, me must have taken them all away. There was a whole team of military and our guide here, and I just went up to the third floor. Military jacket, go away, and a bunch of blood-stained footprints. Do you hear somebody crying? I don't understand who is here. Is it Cartoon Cat? Yeah, he's here. I don't know. There was gunfire, some kind of flash, and a lot of noise. And they told me to stay here and keep my head down. Suffolk, hold on. So you're telling me that as soon as I went to get Bruno on the third floor, there was a huge fight up there. And all the military men and the guide were gone. And Cartoon Cat took them. I don't know what happened to them. They regrouped and they took us to this place. But the guide couldn't stand aside and went to help them. So I stayed here. And it seemed like there was no one even left at all. Suffolk, calm down. Okay, you guys, you guys, we need to think. Uh, uh. Bruno's missing too. I found his bloody jacket there in the next room. Dude, so what are we gonna do about it? Okay, Savik, don't just lose it yet. We still have the old camp that we used to live in. Let's just go there and we'll figure something out of it there. We also need to get the copter from the roof, the one the cartoon cat took down, you know? Maybe we can fix the copter, get it up and running, and it'll help us find William Bruno. And come on, I saw his jacket. Savik, come on, get up, come on, come on now. Are you sure that it's safe there? Even if it's not totally safe, then you have to be strong and brave for your subscribers to see that you are worthy of them clicking that red button, you know, and then joining our Cartoon Cat's location. And that way we can have our capturing team. So let's do this, man. All right, let's go now. <laughs> Guys, there's blood and show casings all over the place. Look, they were shitting back at us. Sir Ogre must have got shot back, but it didn't help him much. Dude, there's only one of Zerogan's shoes left, guys. I'm gonna take this with me. Like, it'll be a memory for me. Uh, look at these prints. They're probably all their palms. I think they're holding onto the walls so that cartoon cat wouldn't eat them. But I don't know. I don't know what happened to them in the end, you guys. <laughs> Suffolk, I found this Bruno's jacket on the third floor. There was also some kind of inscription just like this one. Maybe you can figure something out or the subscribers will clue us in the comments. There's a sign with these three stripes going like this. I have no idea what that means at all. So Suffolk, come up with me, come on. Guys, check this out. Just look how dramatically the weather has changed. It was raining at first, or maybe even snowing. I'm, I'm still wearing my winter jacket in my head. But now it's totally clear, you guys, look. Something wrong has happened with nature. Here, Savik. I've got him on the other one and some stripes. Savik, just think about it. Maybe you have it. any idea what this means right here. So just think about it really hard. Come on. It's uh, radio waves. What the hell? The radio waves. Think better. Come on. Get a walkie-talkie or uh, waves. He's on the other shore. Why is that, huh? This is water. 
That's right, Bruno and I were at the riverbank when we found the old sketchbook over there, and I think that Cartoon Cat's lair is on the other bank. We need to launch a drone to do a sweep of the area, and maybe we can also get some old footage of Cartoon Cat. Most likely, in order for us to find the exit to the roof, we're gonna have to get outside and look around the building and try to find a ladder or something. I'll leave Bruno's jacket here for now. As soon as we find Bruno, we'll be back for it. Guys, these are the stairs. Oh, right. Just make sure it's solid enough to hold us. Yeah, right. Uh, oh, yeah, it looks like I think that it's pretty sturdy. So that's a hell of a cast iron table here. Just be careful not to break anything with that table. Yeah. In fact, I'm really scared right now because Cartoon Cat could pop out of that window at any moment, you know? I just hope that he's out of here by now. Climb up, just be really careful there! <laughs> There's so much greenery around. Suffolk, I noticed it a while ago, but I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but there was some kind of, like, pollen or ash flying around, and as if something exploded or burned for a long time. Look, there's a drone. We found the drone! Let's go, you guys! <sighs> well, as you may recall, our copter was damaged by Cartoon Cat. One of its blades broke, but it was lucky to be able to land here. You guys, I remember him jumping off the roof right onto that copter. Cartoon Cat is very fast and completely unpredictable. We should fix Suffolk's copter and try to get it up and running. Man, it's winter, you guys. Why is the weather so nice right here? It's all happened in five minutes. I just remember some bright flash and nothing else. It says here on the news that there's been some kind of outburst inside of our neighborhood. Apparently, it came from a neighboring nuclear power plant. There's an article about it, and there's also a video about it on the news. An explosion occurred at a plant near St. Petersburg. The accident took place this afternoon in one of the facilities with radioactive uranium. There were no casualties, but 300 people were injured and are in a hospital. According to this information, the tank with gas exploded, thereby breaking the tightness of the uranium tank, which launched an incredible chemical reaction. That led to an explosion and radiant outburst, exceeding the norm in 245 times, which in turn led to an abnormal change in weather and greening of all plants with radius of 50 kilometers. Zavik, now I can see why this weather is so abnormal. Really, it's radiation, I think, you know? And any contact with radiation is terribly bad. So it's radioactive particles, huh? Let's go see what's on the riverbank. We need to find William Bruno now. As maybe it's really as radioactive particles, but we need to fix the copter first, you know? Look, you're better at this, so go and fix the copter, really. Let's get it up and we're running and get a better view of the area. The area of this camp has changed dramatically. The plants weren't even blooming when we got here, you know? Just guys, look at this. Look right here in my hands. These leaves grew in just a few minutes, I think. All right, you fix it and I'm gonna go see what's happening over that way. Oh, God. Uh, I think it's gonna hold. The drone seems to be working. Artyom, where's the remote control? It's in my backpack. I'm gonna give it to you right now. Thanks. Okay, Sopic, let's go higher. Come on, go up, go up, go up, go up, go up, go up. Well, can you see anything higher? I think so far. Okay, just look over there at the lake. Maybe this is the other bank that we needed to go to. We need to find some way down there so that we can get through. Right, there's a water tower right there. There were a lot of comments under the last video about Cartoon Cat, saying that when we went up to this tower, there was a picture of Cartoon Cat, and when we were coming down, there was like some sort of a writing that we didn't even notice there. Wait, look at that building by the river. Have we been there before? Look, Suffolk, I don't really remember. Oh, I think. I guess so, yeah. What? It looks like it's a huge cave, or some kind of well. You guys, this could be Cartoon Cat's lair, but I don't really know for sure. Just listen, Sophic, let's get the copter down, and we gotta get down there and go rescue Bruno! Yeah. Artyom, just be careful! Sophic, I'm trying to be careful! You check the area and see if there's anybody around! Oh, come on, there's no one here! Be careful! It's really dangerous, dude! Be careful! Well, Sophic, it's kinda scary! I'm trying not to look down at all! Stairs are kind of sturdy, so it's okay. Right, let's get out of here. We need to get to the river now. Bird is being kept on the other side, that's for sure. We need to get to the road. Suffolk, I have this weird feeling that somebody is already watching us now. Oh, come on, there's no one here. If there was, we'd be gone a long time ago. All right, let's go see what happened to our camp. Far 
as I can recall, it was dripping rain the last time that we were here, and I can't believe it was just a couple of hours ago. Man, the tripod's upside down. That's so weird. Oh, man. Come on, look at this, you guys. Someone scattered our stuff all over the place. You guys, there is a chance that Cartoon Cat wasn't even here, but I was hoping that at least our camp would have remained intact. But man, we don't even have enough fresh water left here for very long. In fact, even if the worst thing happens, then one should never despair. Just remember the optimism of William Bruno. William Bruno always believed in our team, and most importantly, you guys, he believed in every single one of you, our subscribers. You guys, we ask you very much. I don't know how the story with Cartoon Cat will end with them, but I'm sure that if each one of you who watches this video can go and make that red button that is underneath that video turn gray, which means then you are subscribed to our channel, that that will give William Bruno a lot of strength and energy, and he will easily escape this nasty cartoon cat because he can feel each of your subscriptions. I'm sure that he'll find a way of sure. <laughs> Requesting military support! Is there anyone left, Sergey? Is there anyone left alive? You see, huh? it really works! SOS! SOS! Cartoon Cat is holding me hostage! What? On the other shore of the lake! Hey, Bruno! Bruno! We can hear you here with Zodvik! Over! Over! Arjo! Arjo! Are you there? Yes, Bruno! I'm here! What happened? What happened Where to you? Where is he? I don't know if you can still see me or not! Please do all you can to find me! I'm... I'm almost out of strength! This cat is holding me hostage now with this! Oh! oh, oh. Arjo! Cartoon Cat is running right up me! I'm on top now! Ah, cartoon Cat is looking straight at me! We need to get to the river now! He was talking about the other shore, and that Cartoon Cat was looking right at him. If ever when it hits the subscribe button right now, then I'm sure that we can save William Bruno. That's right. Safik, let's just make our way to, over to the river, but like really carefully, because as I understand, Cartoon Cat already knows that we are coming for him, you guys! This is a building that was standing by the water! Watch out, there's a huge hole. Savik, we used to be here with William Bruno. We even found an album right here. And Savik, when we were here with Bruno, the view from the window was completely different. Yeah, it's beautiful here. Yeah, you guys, the radiation has had a huge impact on this place. Artyom, we've got to find a way to get to that shore. We need to put together some kind of boat. Wait, what's this? Looks like some kind of backpack. Safik, hey, just don't better not touch things they're not sure of, huh? Hold on. Maybe it's some gang stuff or something. Well, it's some kind of, well, it's a pump. Or it's a life jacket or something. Or a boat. Oh, it's some planks to sit on. Don't you think that it's rather strange that we got a call from Bruno requesting for help and asking for us to come across the river to his aid, and here we are, like, finding his boat immediately. It's an actual river boat, guys, but we don't have any oars. Okay, Safik, listen, let's just do it like this. I'm going to try to find some oars then, and meanwhile, you pump up the boat, all right, okay? Let's do it. All right, I'll start pumping up the boat, but are you sure you can find them here? I'll do my best. Just please be as careful as possible. <sighs> Oh, wow. You can even put a motor on it. That house over there, guys. I don't know if you can see it, but that's where we're going to go. Oh, oh, uh, uh, just like that. All right, guys, now it's time for some footwork. You guys, I've gotten just far enough away from Sophic, and I think that I've been around all of these buildings, but I cannot find the ores or anything that could replace them at all, you know what I mean? Oh god, oh my god, I don't know how I'm supposed to find Bruno right now, especially if I love Sophic over that way. I don't know what we're supposed to do to find him. What? The ores are here? Huh? You wrote that, huh? That means that Cartoon Cat must have written it, and he's definitely watching us. You guys, I have a huge request for you. If you notice any weird writings behind us right now as we're shooting this video right here, then make sure to drop a time code in the comments with that text or the image, because we just might not notice it sometimes. You guys, just look at how long this hallway is, you know? No way, those are the showers, you guys. This place is so cool and interesting, you guys. All right, you guys, you won't believe what I'm seeing with my own eyes right now. Oh my.
my god, it's a real ghoul right here, look! Hey you guys, hi everyone! I hope that you can see me right now, okay? Well, at least you hear me well. Now I'm going to try to get into this pool to just show you how big it is, is what I'm saying, okay? I have no idea how much the camera can reflect this here, but there's a crazy echo in here and it is just freaking really huge. It's an abandoned pool here and there's actually several other guys. So let's do this. I'm gonna go off. The pool is huge, you guys, really. I, I, I just need to get out of You guys, I found the first ore right here. I don't know where the second one can be. Oh, remember this bright green text here? We should try to see if there's any more clues around at all. Ugh. It's like the dude who I reaped just here a little while ago. What? Ugh. I don't really know who left that text, but it's been really very helpful. It's very interesting to be here, but frankly, I'd rather get the hell out of here because I don't really like this place at all, you guys. It's never nice. Yeah, this pool is surely smaller, you guys. Just look, it even has these small things right here. It's pretty dangerous to walk around like this. Ugh. All right, I gotta get the, the oars and get out of here now. Just going down this stupid hall right here. Guys, I've almost pumped up the boat. I hope our tomb is doing good over there. I mean, that he found the oars, or at least that he comes back at all. Look how cool this boat actually is. Even though it's an old one, it's still really nice and cool, man. All right, that's it. I finally pumped up the boat and we're ready to swim. And even if he doesn't find these oars, I'll go with the stick anyway. Savik, Savik, Savik. There, I found it. Ah, dude, you scared me. I almost fell asleep in here. You guys, Bruno can't wait any longer. Come on, let's get in the water and head out there. All right. Did we forget anything? You first, me second. Ugh. I just hope we don't sink this boat, because it's so dang old. I think it's a little leaky, don't you? You guys, I really don't know if we're going to find Bruno on the other side. So we may have to go upstream to find out just exactly what happened to him. Okay, Artyom, let's get in a little shallow over here. We gotta be docking backwards. Look, listen, Sophic, I don't know, really. Go backwards if you have to, but really gently. Yeah, this is the way it's done. Come on, Sophic. Okay, guys, well, this is an unusual location for us. Hello? Hello, how might you be? We lost our friend Bruno. Maybe you've seen him in. This blonde guy, you know? We came by the boat. Yeah, there's this monster around here called Cartoon Cat. Here's the thing. There's the best living here, and it's not safe for you to be around. What do you mean? What do you mean? So you're saying that you saw him? I haven't seen him yet, just trying to catch Sophic, him. Sophic, we may have met a Cartoon Cat hunter right here, you know? Well, yeah. Maybe you've seen our friend after all. His hair was short now, yeah, and he wears unmatching sneakers. You know. I haven't seen anyone here. I've also spent some time in this camp a long time ago as I was a little boy. We used to go swimming back then and our teachers told us not to swim to this shore because there are many wild animals but we as usual did not listen to the adults and we swam over here and walked along the shore. The one day we heard a loud screaming we were really scared, free ourselves into the water and swam back and we have never tried to go there. Well, so I think I told you it's very dangerous right here. Well, yeah. There's some sort of a house up in there. I'm gonna run over and I'll see if I can find Bruno. Come on, I saw footprints. We'll follow them forever. Yeah, let's go. That's the direction we should take, right? Been hunting here for years. Mm -hmm. I almost caught him once, but he slipped away from me. Oh, wow. In the last moment. What did he look like? Well, a huge cat, white paws, big teeth, like that. You wouldn't wish to turn an enemy. So keep your eyes open and stay close to me. Hey, what's that? What's that house over there? Is it yours? It's an abandoned one. No one lives there. Bruno! 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 My job is that you! Bruno! I told you guys that he's around yourself. Come on, come on, come on. Watch out and be careful. Don't run away. Don't go too far from us, Artyom. Be careful. I'm here. I'm right here. 
Let's get in here. Come on. Come on. There's some kind of a basement. And if this thing goes down, then we'll fall right in. It's really dangerous, dude. Be careful. Extremely careful, yeah. All right, one by one. Bruno, here I come. What's up? Hey, you are, are you okay? Well, I've been better, you know. Sapphic, you're here too? Yeah, Bruno, come on, it's us. Why are you holding a weapon now? Whoa, 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 whoa. drop it. Bruno, Bruno, <gasps> it's so good to see you alive and well, man. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> so what happens, Bruno, huh? Did Cartoon Cat take you? As soon as we arrived in this three-story building, along with the military, I went to the third floor with Sergei to see uh, if anyone was there. <laughs> We were wandering around the third floor and everything seemed to be fine, you know, but at some point I heard Sergei screaming, so I ran to him and after that, well, I just don't remember a thing. We've met a hunter, so let us introduce you to him now. What hunter, huh? Well, he's after Cartoon Cat. Look, I don't think we should trust anyone here. Let's just go home, huh? Look, Bruno, I don't really know, but you seem like you've changed a lot. You guys go to your hunter right now, okay? And I'll show our viewers the third floor. It's just so damn crazy over there. I'll be right with you. Where with you? Just don't lose the camera with Bruno. Oh, forget the camera. There could be Cartoon Cat in there. Be careful, guys. Come on. Cartoon Cat doesn't exist at all. How so? Bruno, we've made so many videos of us chasing Load him. Load up your boat. I'll be right there. You know, the funny thing is, the guys thought I was being held hostage by Cartoon Cat, but in reality, I am Cartoon Cat. No one believed in me, but I took over William Bruno's body, and now it's all over. <laughs> now I'll just have to wait for the right moment to destroy Irish Nep, because he's been really bad lately, and I'll fix that for good. And you know, I can even give William Bruno his body back, but only if you subscribers can collect 20,000 comments for this video. I'm still a kitty and I love popularity, so William Bruno's fate depends on you. You guys, I'm so glad that we found Bruno, really. I thought that this was the end of our story. Hey guys! You should have come him, him sooner if he was really trapped. Oh, hello. Hello. We finally uh, found you. I wasn't really lost, you know, I was just out for a little walk. A little walk. walk, well guys, we're worried about you. Listen, R2, maybe we'll go to the camp now, or, oh, the boat is a two-seater. Look, we can fit the three of us in there. Why don't we take the hunter or Sovic first, right? We're gonna have to go there and back at least twice anyway. Two is safer, and if I stay here all on the beach, I'm in danger. Let me stay here, at least I have a weapon with me. I'll keep an eye on you from the drone, and me and the hunter will go together. And I'm going with Artem. All right, Bruno, let's just set the boat, and me or you shall go back for the guys, you know, to get them to the other side as well, you know? I'll come back for everyone. Jump in, Artem. Come on, why should I jump, huh? I almost broke the boat, dude. Be careful. Bruno seems a little strange. Come on, come on now. Get in, Artem. Get in. Let's go. Easy, easy. Here comes a rope. I'm going to push you now. All right, come on. Good luck to you guys. Is he always this weird, your friend? Well, it's just a regular William Bruno. Ooh, it's good to finally get outdoors, yeah? What did the hunter tell you exactly? He just told us all sort of like things about Cartoon Cat, you know, that kidnapped his friends, and well, that he's just a really bad character, you know what I mean? Yeah. You think Cartoon Cat is capable of that? Well, yeah, Bruno, man, I was so worried about you, so worried. Come on, what could happen to How me? How was that? You were in Cartoon Cat's lair for long, literally didn't think it have happened to you, you know? Well, maybe I just imagined it all. What do you mean, imagined? Bruno, what are you talking about? Well, Done. Come on, go Hold for on. it. Use your arms. I second. mean, it just might have seemed like that. Turn into Cartoon Cat or something. What's that? Artyom! What bombs? Artyom! Hey. He's Cartoon Cat! Get Bruno's to the shore! Cartoon Come Cat. on, get to the shore right now! What? Head to the shore Stop immediately! What are you guys yelling about? I can't hear anything out here. Bruno and I are heading to the other side. What's all the yelling about? He's Cartoon Cat! I don't know why you wanted to find me, but I know exactly what I'm gonna do to you. And the drone that Sapphic is running won't save you either. Sonic EXE, I'm taking Artem to you. <laughs> Nothing can save you anymore.